we preview the wide receivers this morning here at uh, Hawk Stadium, taking some time to visit with uh, Spencer Davis. Spencer, you guys finally got a little break from the rain. Uh, you guys are one week into camp now. Um, let's go ahead and uh, talk about you know how you guys have progressed through the first week of practice. Uh, first week, you know, everybody getting back out, getting the field for the you know back to football mode. But now, uh, offense looking good, picking it up. Defense looking good also, and you know the rain can't really stop us too long, but. The more we are here, the more we get each other better. So. Wide receivers are definitely one of the more stronger parts of the offense going into this season. Um, talk about the position as a whole, and uh, I mean, you guys got a lot of experience back there, including yourself. Yeah, a lot of experience. Me, DJ, Paul, all those cats. We all worked hard this summer. All the receivers. I can count for Celine help us, helping us in the summer the way he could, and us coming out together as a group and making each other better. It's really made a difference on this offense, and the quarterback doing a good job getting us the ball. So we'll see. We're ready for it. And then five of the eight receivers that we have on the roster right now, uh, they're from the St. Louis area. That's got to be exciting for you guys knowing that you're going to be going back to their stadium to uh, play a football game. For really excited, really excited. Huh? It's always good to go back home and play in front of, you know, family members, friends, just a host of them. Man. You know, all of us coming together as a team. I mean, you know, the receiving core, we're all like brothers. So it's, you know, whether from St. Louis or Chicago, wherever it is, we all coming together as one. So. The newest to the wide receivers position this year is Salim Powell, who takes over as a wide receivers coach for the first time here on the Red Hawk staff. Salim, what are some of the things you're seeing out of the wide receivers so far in camp? A lot of it just being together. Uh, these guys are a close knit group. They kind of worked a lot this summer being together and just coming out and pushing each other. Got a lot of experience at the position. So these guys know what each person's supposed to do and they're making sure they're getting the little things right. You're fortunate to have DJ Foster back and, and Matt Bell. How are those guys, you know, helping the younger guys, the position? I mean, they've got a lot of leadership and, and definitely a lot of experience. I think they help them every day. I mean, we're in the film room and we're on the board. You know, I throw those guys up there, have them drop the plays. You know, they're, they're right behind them, telling them, you know, where to put people if they're going wrong. They're trying to do everything they can to get those guys ready because, you know, long season, sometimes you need those guys right behind you. And the guys that are behind you are pushing the older guys to keep going better. And then also you have others like you know, Spencer Davis is a team captain. You've got Paul McRoberts who really made some great catches last year as a true freshman. Um, how are those guys going to continue to figure into the mix? And then also touch on some of the, the newcomers. Well, I know, you know, with Paul, and, you know, Paul got a good amount of playing time last year. So, you know, he's young. He's still young, too. So he's got a lot of things that, you know, he can he can work on, too. But he's a great player. You see uh, Spencer helps him out a lot, and those guys, they're going to be key, you know, I mean, when they're blocking, when they're catching the ball, when doing these things, they're just going to keep helping each other. Uh, younger guys, we have uh, Peter Lloyd, Darius Darden Box, we have moved over from playing corner, uh, you know, Gary Schaefer, these guys, you know, they, they, they're learning, they're learning, they have to learn some different spots, and they're doing a good job of picking it up, Mike Siliak's as well. He's a, he's a guy who's been around a long time. He does a good job day in and day out. No matter where I throw him in, he helps those young guys know where they're supposed to line up. So, I mean, these guys, they're, they're doing a good job. They're doing a good job, making my job a little bit easier.